Hello. Um, I'd like to talk about the difference um, between anxiety and depression uh, from a certain way of looking at it. Uh, so, so I look at things in terms of energy and emotions. And I see both anxiety and depression as two different ways to mask emotions that are underneath them. Uh, so with anxiety, the energy goes up in your body and it all comes up to your mind and you feel very ungrounded. Uh, nervous energy is like up here. And I know when I went through anxiety, I felt like my mind was on the ceiling. It was like all my energy was just so high up uh, because there were so many emotions coming up in my body that were really difficult to make contact with, to like settle down into and let myself feel. So I felt like all the energy just went like way up. Um, and uh, anxiety can be like a really terrifying feeling. Uh, so one way to work with anxiety is being able to ask yourself, what emotion might I be experiencing under the anxiety? So is there fear, anger, shame, disgust, um, uh, grief, right? So what, what difficult emotion might be underneath this nervous, an anxious energy um, that if I could like slow down and settle into it, what, what difficult emotion might I connect with? Um, I find that that, I found that that really helped with the anxiety and it brought me from being up here to more down into my body again, um, which really changes things because then you're starting, you're facing, you're feeling what's going on more inside of you. You can settle into it a little bit, um, and then you can like discover some new things. Uh, when you're in an anxious place, you can't really discover anything because it's just so hard to put it all together. Um, so looking for the emotion that's under the anxiety and attempting to be with or meet with or get support for that emotion uh, really helps you to, to settle back into your body. And with depression, I see that as almost the opposite thing. Like there's this heavy grief or sadness that just pushes down on everything and pushes all the feelings way down, like so far down that you just feel like pulled down through your body and everything is so heavy. Um, so it's like extremely grounded, but, um, but it's in such a way that it's covering up or pressing down all these other feelings and thoughts that might be happening um, if you didn't have that depression pressing it down. So I would ask the same thing, like what emotion is existing underneath this depression that I am blanketing? with my sadness. Um, often there can be some anger under there or it could be shame uh, or fear. So, so being able to let yourself get in touch with those other emotions that might be getting pressed down under the depression will like kind of help you like open up a little bit and sort of crack a, you know, create a crack in that depression feeling because there are other emotions that want to get out and then that brings your energy back up a little bit into the center of your body. So I kind of think of it like a thermometer. You know, the anxiety is up at the top and the depression is down at the bottom. Um, and when you're trying, what you're trying to do is to get your energy to be in the middle so that there's some dynamicness to it and there's also some groundedness to it so that you feel like you're in this nice middle way. Um, the, uh, the other thing that helps and just in terms of thinking about, it, thinking about it in terms of energy and not emotions is that if your energy is really high, you want to do some grounding things that help you bring your energy down, like, you know, qigong or taking a bath, eating some hot food, uh, using a blanket. There's something that helps you bring your energy down when you're feeling like super high. And then on the, on the other side, if your energy is very low and you're feeling pulled down a lot, then you want to do something that's going to bring your energy up and more up into your body, like closer up to your mind. So I find that doing things that stimulate my intellect help to bring the energy back up, like reading a book, listening to a, um, 
podcast or talk, uh, doing some meditation, um, going out for a walk can be, that can be helpful if you're like looking out, looking around a lot and like opening up your senses, um, smelling fragrance. So doing things like, like open up your senses and bring your energy to a higher place in your body. Um, then that also can help you get to more of like a middle ground where you maybe even feel like you're more comfortable with tackling what your emotions might be. So, so that can be a strategy also for anxiety or depression is thinking of it in terms of energy. So is my energy super high right now? What can I do that will ground it down in my body? Or is my energy really, really low down in my body so that I feel pulled down? What will bring it up into the mind a little bit more um, so that I feel a little bit more lift inside? And then once you kind of feel your energy in a better place, then you can start to look at what emotions you might be experiencing uh, that could be causing one end or the other. Um, and of course, one of the, the most frustrating places is if you're someone where you feel this seesawing effect back and forth where it goes from anxiety to depression to anxiety to depression. So really doing some work that will keep your, your energy in a stable middle ground place is super helpful. You can almost think of it like someone who has blood sugar problems where they're going up and down a lot and the best solution is just to eat regular small meals to keep your blood sugar regular. So what you would need to do if you're someone that's uh, energy is going up and down, up and down a lot and then that is impacting your mood up and down. Um, you have to do things on a regular basis that are going to help your mood stay stable. Doing some kind of energy work you know, listening to a podcast, doing some qigong, some stretching, uh, drinking tea, but doing something that feels good for you on a regular basis throughout the day, and that's going to just kind of keep your energy like more in this middle way or keep coming back to this middle way. You can also think of it as a corrective uh, action. So like if you notice that you're feeling a little bit like anxious and nervous, choose a um, an activity there's something, choose something that's a coping strategy or an activity that will help you feel a little bit more grounded. And then, for, you know, the other way, if you feel like your energy is very low and very pulled down, then choose a coping strategy that will help you feel a little bit more lift inside. Um, you know, so this is not, this is not the same as like using an upper or a downer in drugs because you're trying to fix it, but that's what a lot of people end up doing in, in addiction is that They'll use drugs or substances to try to even out that up, down, up, down, because they're looking for, uh, you know, a good middle ground. But it's, it lies more in understanding your energy and your emotions, and then you're going to start to get consistent results when you do it on a regular basis. And it's also, like, going to be part of, like, a healthy lifestyle. Um, so that's going to be a much bigger picture that will help in many areas of life. Um, so... It's just something to keep in mind. But anyway, hopefully that's helpful too. Thank you so much.